Hey guys, Legomation Studio here with another Bionicle Classic review. So last Friday, Friday we reviewed all the Tonga from McDonald's. Well, now that 2001 bit is over, we've got the next bit. Well, this was released quite later in 2001, but it is very rare. The Bionicle Power Pack. I was able to find it and it's very rare online. They only release a couple amount of these and I was lucky enough to get one of the last ones on eBay. There may be one more, I really don't know, but again, look online and find out. Well, yeah, released in 2001, it was very rare and it was this little box that contained Hafu, a Matoran, a solid chrome Tahu mask, uh, the Hau, and it had universal Lego Technique Bionicle and a little cool um, Tahu's mask and Island of Matanui engraved. Like this, it looks like this box was made of metal, kind of. And then there was a little sticker here. I don't want to take it off because I think it might rip it. Containing 10 pieces Bionicle 3 track music CD. This was Bionicle Kanohi Mask Pack, was like a little pack of a bunch of random assortment of masks that you could actually, if you sent this in, um, could get it free. Uh, I highly doubt I could do that now. They're probably out of them because it's almost been 10 years since they've done this. But it was cool back then you could send this in and get a, a free pack of Bionicle masks. So that was kind of cool. And uh, it said visit Bionicle.com up, up here. Another advertised Bionicle with the Chrome How mask. And then on the bottom all that. And then we have Hafu, the Matoran that comes in this, or well, Tahunga. And like I said, he was the only Tahunga that was released on shelves. The rest were all the McDonald's promos. So on the back, on the back we have Bionicle, www.bionicle.com. And then it has the music CDs tracks. So we have one, which is the Bionicle music, um, Hura Mafu Flow, and Kumo Rocks. And it has the time frame for all of these. And we'll take a look at the CD later, but it's just kind of saying the tracks that are on here and what they're called, how many there are, and how long they last. And then we have Hafu, the mask, uh, the chrome mask, and then a uh, collector's item, mask, villager, figure, and treasure map. Yes, there is another map in here too, it's pretty cool. So really, this is a collector's item. So rare, very hard to find, and I was lucky to find one online. Uh, it says the minimum system requirements you need to run the CD and Universal guys by the way Universal was the original founder of Bionicle for like one or two years until they made the movies and that eventually became uh, uh, Disney when they made the movies but not really Disney it was another studio with it and then back to Universal they were this year with making Bionicle the Legend Reborn so they kind of went a full loop of a bunch of things and ended back at Universal for their final year but that's Bionicle's like properties they've gone to in support so, Chrome Mask, Hafu, Bionicle CD. This, let's talk about the album. It's got some really good music. We're going to give you a couple um, hints of it later. But this was actually going to be a Bionicle album that was going to be released in 2002 with at least like 20 songs. But the contract with Universal ended and they wasn't able to go through, but it would have been really cool to get all that Bionicle music. Of course, now I was able to download it from the Matanui Online game, so I've got all the music, but it would have been cool to own like an actual album. I've got a comic book that I'll show you guys that actually advertises Bionicle the album coming soon. Check it out. Here it is, you guys. So, this is the seventh Bionicle comic. As you know, I joined in a couple of months late, but this is the first one that I ever got. Uh, cool comic books, I must say. But let's take a look at the back. Bionicle, the album. And then it said, um, Cold and Sev, Rob, Zombie, and Woven. They all worked on it, and it said www.bioniclethealbum.com and who supported it and everything. And I was just like, wow, when I was little, I just thought, holy crap, that'd be awesome to have an album of Bionicle music. But sadly, it never went through. You can try to go www.bioniclethealbum.com. I've tried and can't find it. It was deleted probably along with all the rest of the songs they were trying to work on. But this is the advertise for it. It would have been so cool, you guys, but never really happened. Yeah, surfacing September 17th, 2002. Actually, it didn't.
So sad. They even had an advertisement for it, which is really sad, but... Instead, we just got this. Three tracks, whatever, you know? They would have released everything that they have in the Matanui online game just on a CD, but we've got that music. Very rare chrome mask. As you can see, it is chrome all around. Really nice. Probably my best of all the masks. Then we've got Hafu here. And taking a look at the Matoran, he actually, uh, they never made, he was never made into a Toa or anything. But they did make a second version of him in 2003, like what they made with Jaller and everyone, was this taller version of him. Where they had, the, you know, the function on the back where you could spin them, and they would move around, and had this stick here to play Coley Ball with. There we go, the CD, an awesome bionicle with the mask in the background, famous little thing. On the back, we don't have anything, but we do have the CD and its shiny glamour. Now let's open it up. On the side, open it up just like a regular CD case, and this is what you've got. Really, really awesome. First, let's look at the little manual that it comes with. It had the list of tracks. Uh, let's turn it over. This is what we saw on the front when we had it in the little case for the CD. And you'd open it up. It had the instructions on how to build Hafu. And then this really cool picture that really wasn't used until later that last year. Look at this. It has measurements in Bionicle, like the universe, how you measured. See, there was like, come on camera, please focus. See that? There's like one kilo is this how many miles, 1,000, you know, bio is this. Like, we never heard about that since then. And then it has more about it on here, Matanui. Really interesting. Like saying the size of the island, actually. Uh, then a cool picture of it, Machinui in Bionicle language right here, the Matoran universe language, and how to build Hafu, really cool. Let's open it up some more. Ooh, what's this? Well, let's see. Fold it all out, and you eventually end up with this, here, we're gonna have to zoom out quite a lot here. You'd eventually end up with this really awesome map of Matanui, the island of Matanui. And there you have it. Really cool, just so rare that I highly doubt there's any living left of this uh, print of this map. You have a mini version, a giant version, all of where all the cities are and the villages, the names of all the Toa in script, Matanui, uh, Matoran Universe script, the Bionicle logo symbol here, yes, they had it even the first year. They've been carrying it on forever. And just a really cool, awesome map that is a nice little poster to keep uh, for collectibles that comes with this. And then on the back, another really awesome thing. We have the front that we all get to see inside of the CD. And then, and now it's kind of advertising, but what you get here is a picture. It says Bionicle. It advertises all the Toa and a couple of Rahi over here. And then under it, it has the website. This is what the old website used to look like, as you can see. And then the PC CD-ROM game that they released later that year, this is an advertise for it. And then another bit of the online what you can do, www.bionicle.com. And then bionicalmusic.com. I don't know if that exists anymore, but I know some of these sites still do exist, like bionicle.com, of course. The CD is also really cool. It's, oh boy, it's blinding the camera. You've got, please focus, yes. Uh, Tahuma symbol, Bionicle, Universal, Disc, CD, ROM, and the tracks and how long they are. Just really cool, I mean, this is so rare. And I, they only made a couple of these power packs. Really, if you guys are ultimate collectors, you've gotta get your hands on one of these. A 19 production, I don't know what that means. But really cool layout on the CD format. Now, why don't we take a spin with it in my Windows 7 computer. Hopefully it'll still work. So, here we are. Go to my computer. And once the DVD is in, you click on it. It opens up. Click yes. And here's a little, little power pack launcher. You can go to options and set it to, if your computer isn't as fast, to smaller bits, or you can have it be on higher bits. I have it on higher just because better quality. 
continue, start. But here we go. So we have that cool, like, wind sound and zoomed into island of Matanui and here we are in Powahi on the island of Matanui. Uh, as you can see, it's, you've got these spheres, you know, around, and you know, that's the thing, this, this DVD, it isn't just a CD for music, when you put it in your computer, there's this, what I'm showing you right now, this cool little, uh, extra bonus features, really. So, the sound effect gets annoying, but it's in the background. Sometimes a little Matoran will come running by here, sometimes Hafu will wave his hand, Pohato will do a little jump, um, but you can use your uh, mouse to navigate all around Powahi, just this little area here. Uh, these towers are really quite cool architecture, and it just shows you what they put, a lot of the effort they put into making uh, Bionicle's villages. Um, now, your ma the mouse, as you can see right now, is pretty still, but when you put it over something you can click on, it starts bouncing with that little ripple on the screen. So, uh, we'll start with the people and what they do. So if we go over here, we have Oniwa, the Turaga. Put your mouse over it, it starts blinking, let's click him. So, we've clicked him, takes a while to load, and then we got just a picture of Oniwa. You can put your mouse over him, his mask lights up, and then you move to his body, it body lights up, so you can learn about it. You click on his mask, it talks about the Kanoe Kamau and its powers. And then you click on his body, and it just talks about Oniwa himself. If you click on his sword, it says about his hammer tool and how it's a mighty stone uh, hammer. It's just really about him. It is all pretty much advertising, but it's kind of cool. And then you can go to Pohatu. And here's Pohatu. Toa Pohatu, the toe of stone. We all know that. And once again, you can click on either his mask, his body, or his feet. And what you can actually do is um, you can also click on these other Toa that are down here. See all six Toa in action. So when you click on a Toa icon, oh yeah. So there we got a glimpse of Onua. And of course, there are plenty of others down here. I'm not going to click on all of them, but where you can see all of them in action. Uh, but the only Toa you can see right now, just of a picture of him and everything, is Pohatu right here. But those are all those little videos there. Sorry if the frame rate was a little slow. That's just the capturing device I use. Next, we look at Hafu, the guy that really came with this whole power pack. You can check out his disc, click it. It says rumor that Hafu has incredible skill and you can click on his body which talks about the inhabitants of Matanui are the Tohunga well actually it changed into Matoran as you guys know and then behind him is shows uh, a Turaga Oniwa when you click him it says each village has their own tribe consisting of Tohunga and a Turaga priest or Matoran and a Turaga priest I love how they call it a priest isn't that funny anyways it says live in Pokoro the stone of uh, the stone village so not Powahi this is Pokoro but yeah, you'll click out, and then let's look at some of the more things. Well, down here are a couple Kanoe you can click on. The Kanoe opens up and it says, the Golden Kanohi. That Here's the thing, I don't even know if this ever came out. And if it did, it's like you can enter a quiz and try to win, but I can't do that now. Of course, you submit it, and it says, congratulations, you've unlocked secret internet asterisk. Let's see if it even works. So, obviously that didn't work. Um, because there's no such thing as that little thing anymore. And look at we have Hafu, he just twisted and he starts waving his hand. And then you click there and it's like a little game thing. And it just shows you little looks at the uh, video game. I actually had this, it was on your Game Boy Advance. And I lost it. And I was really, I'm really pissed off because I really wanted to look at this, review it, or I mean. I remember playing this when I was little a couple times. My dad got it for my birthday one year. And I never was able to get past like the first two levels. Because I, when I was little, I was just not a gamer back then. Neither am I really a gamer now. But it just would have been fun. Because back then I didn't know, really know what to do but kind of walk around. As you can see, there's plenty of diverse levels and stuff. And it was great just to mess around with. And all of a sudden now, I mean, I have the instruction booklet to it. But I don't have the game. I lost it. It's somewhere. And hopefully I'll be able to find it sometime soon. But... 
It really makes me sad that I can't find it anywhere. I remember playing this little game too. But yeah, um, no a bit, no audio available. It says. Uh, so then you can click on these masks on the side of the building here, and it basically tells you about all the Kanoe masks and what they can do. Really high quality picture, I must say, for a really old CD. If you have it in the big standard definition one, of course. And then, over here, you can click on the island of Matanui on the side of this building. Uh, another video. So that was an unexpected video, but yeah, that was pretty long, uh, making the review longer. But that was basically what happened if you clicked that. Um, after this, I don't think there's much else you can click. I don't know if there's any secret little places. I spent a little time kind of going around. Hey, look at that, a little Matoran running by. But you can tell that they put some, uh, quite a lot of stuff into this, and people who got this CD could definitely put it in their computer and check it around a little bit. So definitely, I mean, there's more videos, I'm not going to show you them all, but that's basically what this power pack did. So, so what I, you do next is there's this little, I mean, it's pretty hard to find, but this little, hey, look at a little Matoran popping out of there. Okay, a little X, you click there, and then it would, as you're about to exit, show you, you can go to lego.com, universalmusic.com, bionicle.com, or bioniclemusic.com. The only ones I think work now are Bionicle and Lego. I don't even know if Universal Music works anymore. And I know Bionicle Music definitely doesn't. So, X out. And there you have it. So you guys got a good look at that, uh, what was inside of it and what you could watch and do. So, but on the CD, if you put it in a, just a simple music player, or if you open it up instead of it going to my computer on your computer, if you open it up with Windows Media Player, it'll play the songs. Here's a little clip from the first song. <laughs> So that was the first song, you kind of heard a little bit of it, just a little clip thing there. Um, I don't know, it's okay I guess. I really like the Bionicle actual like, the game, you know, like the Matanui online game music, that's pretty cool and like, really nostalgic, but these are kind of two. Then the second one... Okay, and then the last one. Okay, so that was the Bionicle music was the first one, which is I guess the Bionicle music. Whoa, uh, Hurmafu flow, and then Kumo rocks. Uh, was the third one? First one, third one, second one. Yeah. So, it's okay music, you know, it just was kind of a cool little thing to give with this. Um, and even though it might not seem like much, I think it's just a lot, because it's very rare. And this is probably the most, the most rare out of 2001 sets, I'm actually going to say that, really. It is. I mean, I don't even know if you count it as a promo. It really wasn't. It was a real thing that was on, uh, on the shelves. So... You've taken a look at the contents of the box. You know that it comes with the box, that's pretty collectible. The chrome mask, the CD, and of course Hafu himself. Uh, I forgot to say that, yeah, he does come with a disc, but oddly enough, it has Tahu's mask. Yet he's not from Takoro. He's not a fire Matoran, you know, from there. I, I just don't get why it has that. Isn't he supposed to have... Isn't he from Pokoro? Shouldn't he have... Hooky on his disc, but whatever. Um, he does come with this though, so that might make sense why it's the same Hau mask. But yeah, uh, I don't want to keep going uh during this review, so I'm just gonna say that if you want to get this look online, about sixty dollars. The mask itself, I think, goes for about uh, uh, thirty, twenty, maybe twenty on its own. Then I know. Um, that the Mator and Hafu uh, all together come 
together is probably around 22. Uh, I mean 20, like 20 also. So, and together I found these got this for like 30, 40 dollars together one time without this. And then this by itself I haven't really seen anywhere and I'm sure it actually probably isn't worth that much. It's mainly these two things that are worth the money. But the box is collectible, especially with the original sticker and the back and the display uh, plastic inside of it to help display the mask if you want to put it up in your collection like I do. And yeah, pretty much that's it. I've got to say if I were to guess how much this was worth by itself, I'd say it'd probably be around $10, $15. So really, not that much. But these are definitely. And then when all together, like I have it all together, that's pretty rare and definitely uh, not a cheap buy, but definitely something that any ultimate collector would want to have. So if you guys want to go out and get it, the power pack is pretty awesome. This is Legomation Studio signing out. See you next time, guys, with a review of Bionicle Classic Reviews.